Good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you from Moscow, Idaho. Uh, just a quick update today. Um, I finally got my uh, Green Stuff World chrome paints in. Um, it's fairly new for them. Uh, bronze, antique gold, copper, and tin plate gold and chrome uh you've seen my chrome test in the past uh but what i decided to do was since these are new uh thought i'd go ahead and use my hobby mio uh, paint palettes color palettes and spray and let you guys see what uh what they look like um uh, i'll be using my new uh gallery ghad 68 uh, it's a single action trigger. Um, I use this uh, to prime three of my models today. And boy, let me tell you what, I love this thing already. I didn't think, you know, I was hesitant because it's single action. I like my double action. Um, but man, I'm very impressed. This, this thing atomizes the paint extremely well. So... Uh, without further ado, um, I am going to turn my fan on, uh, so it's going to be loud. I won't narrate as I go through this. Um, so once I spray a color, I'll shut the fan off and go through it real quick. So we'll start off with the chrome. So, as you can see, I went over it with light coats at first, and then that one last coat at the end was just boom. Um, you can see there's streaking issues with just a big flat surface. So what I thought I'd do is just pull a couple parts box pieces out and spray these. show you how quick and fast it is to clean this uh, this stuff is alcohol based um, so I'm just gonna dump a little in there I'm gonna backwash it do that two or three times just to get the bowl clean 
this point. You can see the metallic in there. There's quite a bit. Um, at this point, I'm just going to wipe the bowl. And then do that one more time. You know, I was really hesitant at first because you can see how much trigger there is before... Um, before the paint comes out. Well, that's so, that's the dual action part of your, of this airbrush, is you pull back just a little bit and all you're getting is air. And then you go back even farther. I guess I could have done that somewhere else besides my hand. And that's it. Uh, in between colors, I do not uh, pull my uh, airbrush apart. Um, when I get done doing this series of six paints, I will actually uh, pull the needle out and break down the tip. Um, all right, so now we're going to move on to chrome. See, I'm just blowing, blowing the dust off. Just slight trigger pull. And all I'm trying to do is just get a base laid down for it. You can do it heavier right from the get-go if you want. I've done it multiple ways. Um, and then we're at that point where I'm going to go a nice heavy coat and it's going to chrome right out. Boom. Just like that. See if you can read the reflection in there. You can see how chromatic or how much of a mirror shine that is on there. So I did the same thing. I grabbed a couple little small pieces. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to show you on this one. I'm going to just flood it right out of the gate. Well, looks like that piece is dirty. Just like that nice chrome paint all right let me get this uh, brush cleaned up and we will go over these at the bench actually we're gonna go over them right here be the best place my tip out that way kind of hard to see there but, and that's it all right let me get these 
shut off and we'll go over these. I have something in the dark side. <laughs> well, that kind of worked and it didn't. <laughs> so we're going to do this just because it'll be able to contrast the colors a little better. Get these in here. <clears throat> All right, first up, we got the copper. Um, you can see how nice and gloss it is. Uh, but you can see there's kind of splotching. Um, and that's just, uh, it just does not like big flat surfaces. Um, it's still kind of tacky, uh, so I'm going to try to buff this after it's sat a while, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, next up is tin plate. This was the closest to just getting a nice, even spray, but the camera doesn't pick it up real well, but this is a nice, um... Uh, mirror color it's hazy not like the mirror the chrome mirror but i don't think uh honestly i just don't think that's ever going to happen out of other colors uh bronze you can see the streaking in it as well um but again um you know that's about all the mirror finish it we're gonna get out of it uh, and also I um, Barbatos Rex also did these this review and his weren't quite as um, streaky but he didn't get any any good solid chrome plating out of out of any of the colors and that's the antique gold. But for smaller parts, um, this stuff is going to be absolutely great for a nice plated, nice plated look. I mean, look at that gold. Again, you can see the streaking. Um, but you can see I'm touching it. It's it's almost close to dry um still a little bit tacky but and then damn dog hair right in the middle um you can see me oops that's telling me i'm still number one um you can see it's got the chrome has excellent reflectivity to it um this chrome is the only chrome I use on, on all my stuff now. This is uh, Green Stuff World's brushable chrome. And by the way, these all work just, just as well, if not better, in brushing them. Um, and when you do it, don't, don't brush stroke it. You just kind of dap it on and... Um, it comes right out. But here's the gold. A great, great color. Um, I will definitely be using these. And then, of course, here's, here's the chrome. So. That's it for today, guys. Uh, 
just wanted to actually I'll show you my car I'll go back up on this a um, couple weeks ago I put the or last week I put the let me move this out of the way here before I set it down into anything but I put uh, the top numbers on and I do use a, a decal setter because I like the way it just draws it into the paint and really it just uh, makes it bond to the paint extremely well. Well, anyway, my decal softer, Mr. Mr. Mark softer actually melted the number 21 on top. So I had to scrape it off and sand it down. Then I just taped off that top hood portion and re... Uh, you can't even see the line there where I did it today. And then just repainted uh, the hood only, or the roof. Um, so I'm going to let that dry a couple days. I'm This is a Model Master color. And then I'm going to apply my 2K Clear... Um, and then I'll decal it. So, but anyway, um, just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, the ones that I, I mean, copper is copper. Um, uh, whoops. Yeah, see, it's still, uh, the antique gold's all right. I like color wise I'm really digging the tin tin plate and the chrome the bronze is a nice little color too if this uh, was a little softer had a little more silver in it and I may try that I may actually mix some bronze and chrome to see if I can tone that down almost like a champagne gold color so anyway we're at 17 I did not want to do it this long but anyway, God bless you guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time around. Um, peace.